Uh, okay, so I really don't care about this topic at all, right? I really don't. But I, I was talking to some of my friends on Discord right, about this, and I guess I had a lot more to say about it on there than I initially anticipated. So I'm going to go ahead and make a quick video talking about this new lunch sleep product that's being promoted by Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul. And of course, the first obvious thing to point out is why the fuck is Mr. Beast uh, talking about this new product that he's releasing with... KSI and Logan Paul and Prime instead of making that response video to Dogback 404 and all the allegations that he made against him and his business practices behind the scenes and how he treats his employees and you know all the all the bullshit that he's being accused of you know it just it just makes more sense to talk about that but honestly in my opinion I think he's just at a point where he doesn't really want to talk about that anymore he just wants to move on and do his own thing and just continue to keep trying to act like that never happened pretend like it never happened move on and do your own thing continue as, as business as normal whilst trying to hide the information from his comment section entirely so not only do I not think that Mr. Beast is not going to talk about that situation anymore he's just going to completely avoid it as much as possible but and instead of promoting his own chocolate bar which in its itself is completely unhealthy for kids which also promotes childhood obesity because it has a lot of saturated fats and sugars in it he's gonna team up with prime which is infamously known for being a hydration drink that sucks at being a hydration drink you can go on youtube right now and see a whole bunch of videos of people talking about prime and how in comparison to their other competitors like gatorade prime just does not work as a hydration drink because the main thing that happens when you're working out and you need something for hydration is you need sodium in your body because when you sweat you sweat out salts you so you sweat out sodium so you need something you need to drink something that has a lot of sodium in it so you can restore the sodium that's in your body so you can sweat more of it as well as also giving you stuff that gives you electrolytes and protein etc etc whilst not having a lot of sugar in it and prime as an alternative to something like gatorade just is not as effective as they try to make it out to be. They try to make themselves as the best hydration drink to be on the market right now, but honestly, the only thing that it really does at succeeding is just being a fucking drink for little kids to go and ask their parents to go buy for them. That's what kids are doing with Mr. Beast's Feastables chocolate bars, and now they're pretty much just trying to do the exact same thing with their new product line of Lunchly lunch boxes, which are a direct comp comparison and a competitor towards Lunchables, which have been around for an extremely long time. And this is pretty much just exactly what you think this is going to be, right? They they boast that they have 400 milligrams of electrolytes, but I don't think kids really need that many uh, that many milligrams of electrolytes because they're not going to be that active because there's, this is supposed to be for like little, little kids. Yeah, sure, they have a lot of protein in them and that's great. They, ha they don't have as much calories and all that shit in there, but it's just... We already know that this is just more processed shit. Of course, the same thing happens with Lunchables. You know, that, that stuff is has a lot of saturated fats and total fat counts and is completely processed as well. But my issue with this is the fact that KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast always constantly talk about how they're trying to have healthier alternatives for kids to go out and buy and be entrepreneurs and be in the market where they can actually give kids something that is healthy and beneficial for them. But... The stuff that they're promoting and the stuff that they have kids to go out and buy for them, it's not that much more uh, healthier, right? If anything, it's just as bad for them as their direct competitors, right? If you, if you look at the nutritional facts for Lunchly in comparison to Lunchables, they're not all that much different besides the 400 milligrams of electrolytes. And even then, like I said, no little kid is going to be is going to be needing that many milligrams of electrolytes because they're not going to be like that active. So there's no reason for them to be ingesting that many milligrams of electrolytes and most of that is just coming from the prime hydration drink to begin with because if it's a hydration drink it's obviously going to have a lot of electrolytes because that's what it's supposed to fucking do but it's still counterproductive for being a hydration drink anyways because it's supposed to do a whole lot more than that. And I think that's just like the biggest issue that I have is the fact that this is just another YouTuber product where they're trying to promote another product that is not going to be that much more healthier for kids. And all it's really trying to do is just to join a market where they can make as much money as possible from the little kids that don't know any better. All they know is that their favorite YouTubers are marketing this new line of, you know, like Lungeables alternative that, you know, their favorite YouTuber is making. And that's all they care about. And they have three products out right now. The pizza. <gasps> Eat it! Ah! <laughs> what? Oh, shit! 
uh, turkey stackables and fiesta nachos, which, by the way, is basically just the exact same thing that Lunchable ha- Lunchables has. So then the only thing that's really different is the fact that it has Prime and Feastables tied to it. And that's all it is. All right, really quick, wanted to add this in post. Dan TDM, one of the biggest channels on YouTube, one of the biggest Minecraft channels ever, and has his own son, completely disavows this product made by Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul, or at least it's being promoted by them. Uh, he had to say something about it, and he just couldn't not say anything anymore, and he sees it for what it is. It's a product made just for the sake of making as much money as possible, doesn't benefit their fans, and is just selling crap to kids who don't know anybody other than the trusted YouTubers who are promoting it. So yeah, just wanted to give a shout out to the GOAT of Minecraft YouTube content because he sees it exactly for what it is and you have to respect it, right? The Prime already made a whole bunch of money. Feastables makes a whole lot, a whole lot of money. So they just want to combine that together and just make a different alternative towards Lunchables and try to make as much money as possible. And from a business venture, I can totally understand why they're trying to do this. Because they are going to make a lot of money from this because little kids don't know any better. Again, all they see is their favorite YouTubers marketing a different alternative to Lunchables. And they're going to go out and buy it. They're going to ask their parents to go out and buy it, and buy it for them. <laughs> but who cares, right? And even then, it's like, why am I even mad about it? And, and it's like, I'm not. Because it's not for me. It's for the little kids that aren't going to fucking care. And all they're going to see is, oh, Mr. Beast and KSI and Logan Paul are are releasing their own version of, of Lunchables. I want that. Mom, go buy me that. Or I'm going to take your credit card and go and go buy it for myself because I don't give a shit. Um, I don't know. Just, it's dumb. Like, it's not, it's not going to be that much more uh, healthier for the kids. It's not promoting healthier eating habits. It's not doing anything besides just putting more money in the pockets of these three guys who don't honestly give that much of a shit uh that's pretty much it that's all i have to say about it it's weird it's, it's dumb i had a lot more to say about it than i thought that i did I, I didn't really care i didn't want to make the video but here it is here's what i have to say i don't give a fuck anyways that's pretty much the video uh <laughs> at the end of the video uh, I want to give a shout out to Pedro360 for being uh, still the only member on the channel. I got a comment recently saying that one dollar was too much, so I don't know. I, I, I guess I have to make it cheaper. I, I don't. I don't know. A- anyways, that's pretty much it for me. If you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. Turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video. Join the membership. So I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Drop the